So I'm really excited about today's episode. Uh, we have Aaron on, who's a renowned psychic here in Toronto. And Katie and I have tons of questions. We're very curious about this. And also Aaron's going to do a reading for me later in the episode. And Katie may jump in with uh, some comments as well. And Aaron, welcome to the show. Yay, thank you for having me on. It's exciting. <laughs> so tell us, Erin, a little bit about kind of your psychic history when you were introduced to it and how it kind of came a part of your life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so well, um, I call myself more an intuitive medium. I feel like um, psychic just sort of comes in with mediumship anyways. But, and I also, I guess, feel like there's, <laughs> there could be negative connotations with the word psychic. You know, I've been compared to for, like fortune teller and all that stuff. So I just sort of say intuitive medium. But like, I, you know, I know psychic is also fine. And so I all started basically when I was younger. Uh, my grandfather passed away. I was probably 13 and or 12, 12 or 13. I was really young, but I started experiencing all of these things that I could not explain. So, and it sounds very out there, but I, you know, my hand to, to God's ears or whatever that saying is, I, would, I saw my plate move uh, about an inch. Okay, when I was eating toast, that's how it basically started. I wow. remember running to my mom's, my mom uh, in the dining room being like, mom, my plate just moved, you know, and she was joking with me and she didn't really believe me at that point. Um, and then from there, it just sort of snowballed and I started, you know, hearing voices. Like I, I heard my grandfather whisper my name directly into my ear. I can still kind of feel it. Um, and I remember, you know, saying out loud, you know, okay, I hear you grandpa, but that scared the shit out of me. So let's not do that again. <laughs> um, it, and I, you know, was hearing voices that I couldn't really tell where it was coming from. It sort of sounded like a radio. I couldn't make out what they were saying. My mom actually started, um, to go to a medium herself, um, to get some sort of support, um, for her father's passing. Um, and the medium said that, you know, I had this gift, um, and if I wanted to do it, I could, I could go and do it. And wow. I was in high school and naive and I was giving readings to friends because I thought it was, I thought it was funny. Like I thought it was, oh, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be a psychic. Yeah. Wink, wink. Um, but I was really accurate in a lot of the things that I was saying and it scared me and I stopped. Um, it wasn't until I was like in my, like in my early twenties, um, that I started to give more readings and it sort of just grew to, you know, friends of the family, friends of friends and strangers. And yeah, that's basically wow. my story and my journey. Now, <laughs> in terms of your readings, um, do you mainly do it through cards or, I mean, I don't really know too much about it. So how do you kind of do them? So I, I do, I have my, I have my tarot cards because Ryan was saying that he wanted love reading. So I have my love Ooh. cards here uh, for help, but um, I only really use the, the cards as a tool, what I, how it works with me. Um, and you'll probably hear the same from other mediums or intuitives is that it's all sort of through your mind, like your third eye. Um, so I'll get an image in my mind's eye. I might get a word, a feeling or a thought, and I'll try to describe that feeling or thought to you. Um, and if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, we, we move on, but I give it to you anyways. Uh, so that's sort of how I get the message. I that's love that. Very Aaron. interesting. I have just one more question just because Ryan's going to be read. Um, <laughs> do you like, let's say you're doing a reading um, and like, maybe negative things are coming up like that that person may not want to necessarily hear do you how do you approach that or are you just you know completely honest it's it's what you're seeing yeah i think that's a really great question um and it's something that i um, you know really strongly feel like with you know mediumship or giving readings i feel like there's a responsibility there i feel like there's an ethical approach to it um, you know, so I think having a background, I have a background in social work. I feel like that has helped me a lot. Um, and I, you know, I once sort of heard it described by another media, like if I see somebody getting hit by a car, I'm not going to say you're going to get hit by a car. I'm going to say, you know, sometimes we look at our phones and when we, you know, we cross the street. And so maybe, you know, when we're crossing the street, just make sure that you look both ways. You know, and apparently mm. that person came to that medium the next day and said, I almost get hit by a car. Okay. Um, wow. But I, was, I listened to you and I didn't look at my phone. I mean, you know, I don't know, but I just sort of, I don't know how true that story is, but I heard it described that way and I 
I, I feel like there's, there's truth to that. So if I do get anything that I've, I never really feel like I get negative things anyways, it might not be something the person wants to hear, but I, I usually find that spirits, you'll hear, hear me say spirit is saying, um, in your reading, Ryan, and that's usually just, um, spirit as a collective as a whole. Um, and I usually find that spirit is, is more loving with their messages because that's the intention when I go into each reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like it's all about intention. And that's something that I liked about your Instagram too, is you talk about spirit and you tend to give people motivational advice about looking at their life uh, more deeply and maybe things that are holding them back. And uh, that's how I originally discovered you and what you do is via Instagram. So um, maybe we can give a quick shout out to your Instagram. Usually we wait till the end, but I think that people will want to want to know. Um, so if you can just tell them what your Instagram is, if they want to follow you. Yeah, Soul Work. So S-O-U-L-W-R-K. That's awesome. Because <laughs> I'm cool like that. I love that. <laughs> and it's interesting that you say that you that it was a psychic or an intuitive that said that he or she felt like you had that within you because mm -hmm. I can relate to that. I actually had two psychics or intuitives tell me that they felt like I had that in me. And one day you talked about doing it just for fun, wink, wink with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> and I did that with my sister in the back of a car on a road trip. And I did a reading oh. just like a vibes reading, didn't have cards. And, um, she had just broken up with her boyfriend and she was just like, you know, asking about the next year. And I said, and I, and I was feeling it. Like, as I was saying it, it was like, I was feeling it, but it's not like I was necessarily seeing images. I was just like feeling what I was saying. And I told her that she was going to meet someone in one of her classes and that it was going to start as a friendship that she was going to see him as more at first. And she was like, you know, is it a brunette or a blonde? And I was like, brunette, because her last boyfriend was blonde. And I was just feeling it. And I said, but it's going to blossom into something more. Turns out that she's now been dating her brunette boyfriend for ah. two years now that she met in class and they started as friends. Um, but it was just, it was one of those moments where I was like, wow, like, I would love to learn more about this. And that's why it's so great to talk to you and hear your journey because a lot of people, they just go into the actual reading, but they don't know who they're talking to. And I find your journey so interesting and the fact that it was so organic as well. And at first, like when you connected with your grandfather, were you kind of thinking like, is there something wrong with me? Like, were you no. starting to question your <laughs> mental health in a way, right? Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, I think I also was... I was the weird kid in school, you know, after this and into all these ghost shows and stuff. But I, I mean, I always think, I think I'm still kind of nuts doing this work, but <laughs> you know, it's not the average, uh, your normal, I guess, job, you, you could say, but, um, I'm so appreciative of, of this work and thank you so much for the kind words uh, yeah. also, by the way. Um, yeah. And I, I have to say, I love that you said that you just gave a reading because I, Oh, it's okay. But I was picking up on your intuitiveness as well. And, um, that you were just also kind of giving reading. Oh, wow. Um, so that's, that's, that's kind so of cool. interesting. Before we jump into it, what kind of services do you offer people? And is it only in Toronto or now, since you can do things virtually, are you open to people from, you know, all around the world? Yeah, I do it all over, all around the world. I have uh, folks uh, from Australia, from England, um, the U.S. And, and Canada, and of course here in Toronto. Um, I do, well, right now we're in quarantine and so all my readings are over Zoom. Um, but I also do readings uh, in person um, if you're in the Toronto area. My only thing with in-person readings because it's just in my own home is that I just need to um, have like somebody refer you to me. Yeah. Um, and I need to know that referral in order to have an in-person reading. Um, and that's really just as a safety thing. Yeah. Um, but I also, I offer, I do readings as like 30 minutes, 45 minutes and one hour recorded readings. Um, and so your reading is always recorded and emailed to you afterwards. Oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So should we jump into this? Are you ready, Ryan? I'm ready. I'm super excited about this and I'm already getting good vibes from Aaron. So hopefully my reading is the same. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. 
so. I hope so. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Um, okay, so I'm just going to let you know what I usually let folks know when I give them a reading. Um, I'm going to take a deep breath. Um, I feel like I, don't, I won't have to take too many deep breaths because I already did a nice meditation um, nice. before. Um, and if for whatever reason, I mean, you know, knock on wood, it hasn't happened. But if I say something you're not comfortable with going there, that's okay. Just let me know and we'll skip over it. Okay. okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. But again, it hasn't happened. So hopefully that is still the same here. Okay. So, and you'll also notice, um, Ryan, that I just sort of, I have a paper. I was sort of doodling and writing down some um, messages that I was getting as I was meditating before your reading. So I'm still gonna, just going to be writing down the messages uh, as a way for me to help focus. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, so I'm just going to take a deep breath. Okay, so listen, I got to say, I know you want to go into relationships, but I, the first thing that spirit is making me want to talk about is education with you. Okay, so um, are you still in school or are you, are you thinking of going back to school? Uh, recently graduated, actually, from a postgrad. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, congrats. I don't know if you're thinking of doing any certificate courses or what this is because they're saying there's something else that you're going to be studying that's going to be coming along for you. Um, and they're very excited for you. I also feel like you're a very bubbly personality as well. But in saying that, I feel like when, you know, uh, we got to get down to business, Ryan's there is going to get down to business. You know, <laughs> you don't mess around. Okay, so I feel like there's this really energetic, playful side to you, but also this sort of very serious um, uh, very caring, loving side to you as well. Um, and I also am, am picking up on, I feel like that's why you are able to also just give messages so clearly and smoothly. Like you're receiving things, I feel like on a daily also. Okay. Um, they're, you know, spirit loves to talk. Okay. So I feel <laughs> like they're nonstop talking to you, maybe whether we, you know, we realize it, uh, consciously or not. Yeah. Um, but they're making me aware of because your heart is so open, your heart space is so open. It's just easy for them to just come through. Okay. Yeah. Because that all it is, it's just they're coming from a very a love a place of love. Okay. Okay. okay so I'm going to move on here. Okay. Hang on. They're also giving me a, not, a lot of numbers. I don't know what to do. Do you work with numbers, or is that what you went to school for? I don't know what to do with like. I don't know if there's maths involved or some sort of calculations. Does this make any sense to you or no? Well, I'm I'm in communications and PR, but sometimes we do look at like the numbers as far as like the valuation of it all. Okay. Okay. I can also say that Ryan's huge with numbers when it comes to rent and his career and the sense of like, you've sat down before That's interviews true. and stuff being prepared as someone's going to say, what's your, what, what are you expecting salary wise? You've always been really That's prepared true. with a counter argument. Okay. So numbers that way, I think. <laughs> I'm just getting a lot of numbers. They don't make any sense to me, but that's what they're showing me. Okay. Okay. So I love that. So there it goes. Just some more confirmation that I'm in your energy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you know a, do you know a Matt or do you know somebody with the letter M? A male? I'm trying to think with the letter M. It's yeah. Okay if it doesn't come right away. You do? Um, not that comes right to my mind right now. Maybe it's someone that will come in my future, but I, I'm trying to think of an M okay. right now. I know. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, I'm just going to give it to you because okay. uh, okay. I'm not sure what to do with it, but they're giving it to me again. You know, I know I accidentally called you, Matt, yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm going to give it to you again because they're bringing this letter M up and I feel like I've got a mail here. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to go into, yes, hi. Okay. Um, I also have a gentleman here that wants to talk about love with you. I do feel like this gentleman is family related. So um, we'll see if he gives me a little bit of any more information as to who he is. I, I don't know why, but does everybody in your family have the same nose? <laughs> well uh not not everyone but like my mom is that and, like a running joke in yeah the family or kind something? of yeah okay. because my mom and I do but my dad has yeah. kind of a messed up nose and my sister always complains because she says that she got my dad's nose and my brother okay. says he got hit my dad's nose so like I have the cute nose in the family with my mom <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's really funny because whoever this gentleman is, he's coming for, he's talking about the nose. Like there's there's something with this nose, okay? Um, okay, hang on. Also, you got laser on your nose last year, Ryan. Does <laughs> else say that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got like, I had this weird like, like um, scar on my nose and I got it laser treated, which was like a mess for like a year. And it was a okay. big deal for you. You were like constantly freaked out about it. Yeah. And, like, Sending me pictures. Is it healing correctly? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay. I love that. Okay. Hang on. All right. The other thing there. Okay. I guess I'm in, I feel like I definitely am into love right now. Um, 
do you have a thing for like Texas accents or like Southern drawls? Is this like, mm -hmm. this is a, okay. Because I, um, I don't know if you can, I wrote down Dolly Parton and then I wrote down Texas. Okay. So I'll show you that. This was sort of before. Oh, okay, wow. I don't know if you can see that there. Okay. Um, when I was like picking up on things. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. The other thing, I don't know if you're seeing somebody because they keep saying marriage license. Oh. Okay. So, well, I don't know if, if, um, so that could go both ways. Okay. This could be either, you know, we're seeing somebody and marriage is coming. Um, or yes, you will be in marriage and you, you know, maybe you're not the person that wants a big wedding. You just sort of would want to go down to city hall, sign the papers, you know, um, because that license thing is, is, is very specific. It's not just marriage. It's marriage license. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to give that to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, they're also saying, um, perfect match, perfect oh. match. Okay. Yeah. So I do feel like, I, I feel like this person is super close. Are you seeing somebody? Because there's somebody that's like either going to be coming in very fast or maybe there's like, there's somebody around you. Okay. Okay. Um, and, uh, okay. This is interesting. So the other thing they're showing me when it comes to relationships is there was a choice that I had to make when I knew. Um, I don't know about whether to continue a relationship or stop it. Yeah. Well, so right now I'm, I'm single, but I've, I've struggled a lot with like thinking about past relationships and like why they didn't okay. work out and whether I need to just let it go. Maybe that okay. could be okay. it. So this is the question. Yeah. Because I feel like right now I've sort of just, okay, thank you. I know. So they keep sort of bugging me because there is somebody I feel like that's going to be coming up for you. And I, I mean, I know we're in quarantine, so like, I don't know how <laughs> you know the dating world is going to right now. Yeah. I would not want to be on Tinder right now. Um, but I'm feeling like there is somebody that's going to be coming around you re really soon. Now, I mean, soon time doesn't really exist in spirit. So soon could just mean like this year or, you know, going into the beginning of next year. Okay. I've okay. always okay. said that when I, I think when Ryan meets the one, that will be it, that'll be done and it'll yeah. be locked in and sealed. I don't see a yeah. lot of like, uh, I don't see you getting someone and then it only lasts in like a couple of years. Like I think when you meet your guy, that'll be it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I, like, I, you know, um, I like that you're saying that, um, Katie. So, um, just maybe hold on to that, Ryan. And I, it's, it's, they're coming. Like, oh, okay. that's good to um, know. Do you see any like names? Is it the Matt name or do you think that it's, you know, a, a Robert or a Rob or R? Yeah. Or well, my R? dad, my dad is Robert. Okay. Okay. But that's I do great. know Rob's too. You know, have you dated a Rob? Not dated. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, I don't know. Um, but what I'm going to do with that is what I like to get from spirit is a nice little check mark, like okay. something on earth that you can say, you know, yes, there's a, my dad's name is Rob. Okay. There's a, there's a clear connection yes. to that. Um, and so that for me is a nice little check mark from spirit. Yes. This person is coming in. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm feeling like they're a little shorter. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to, I would say like average bill. I, I don't know. Do you have a thing for skinny dudes? I, I would no, say like. Ryan likes the big macho one. You like the big <laughs> macho one. So this person to me, I'm just going to give it to you. Hey, nothing is, I'm going to be super transparent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing's a hundred percent with ratings, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, things can always change, yeah. you know, future stuff, you know, because we have decisions, we have free will, but I'm getting somebody, they're saying scrawny. Oh. <laughs> so, I don't know if they're Katie. kind of joking. I don't feel like they're like a toothpick. Okay. <laughs> Katie's <laughs> laughing over there. Katie's loving this. <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm just giving it to you. And Sometimes it's the people, right? We least expect. I know. Is that, is, and you're, you're getting the name Rob for this person or you're not sure if Rob ties into it or Matt I, I don't, I don't feel like it is. I feel like that's just their way of confirming that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Somebody is going to come in for you. Okay. okay? Oh, you know okay. what else? Sorry. I'm just going to interrupt. My yeah. great grandfather's name is Rob is Robert as well. Like we call they call them Bobby, but that could be also if, if you're saying someone's coming in and saying oh, that. Oh well, there's a gentleman, be. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that could be it too. Um, so there we go. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's all these like little bits and pieces of the puzzle that we try to like fit together. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, hang on. Do you have like family in like Nova Scotia or out like east? trying to think 
not Re- out. Any relatives? Not. Uh, oh. I don't- I do. My whole mom's side of the family lives out there, but I know this is oh. right. But just no. But it could be that you're coming into it, Katie, because that's something very specific. Like I have cousins that are out east, but I don't think it's Nova Scotia. But that could be you coming yeah. in, Katie. And I spoke to my grandparents from Nova Scotia this morning, actually. Oh, oh, that's so okay. Because I also wrote down Nova Scotia when I was kind of meditating, oh. um, and they're bringing it up again. So what I'll just sort of say, Katie, is just hi from all your folks in spirit too okay i feel like they're also just wanting to come in and, and say hi oh that's great that's really great um, okay hang on okay we're gonna go back to love for you yeah does december mean anything to you his family is obsessed obsessed with christmas which yeah we december. do like, like um, they do yeah. a christmas video every year as a whole family that's <laughs> yeah. so great okay okay because yeah. that was yeah. going to be my next thing is is christmas a big thing in your yeah, family it is okay so I'm, I'm also picking up on December. All these little things is just the, a nice check mark from spirit. Somebody is coming in and they're coming in fast. Wow. Okay. You're not, you're really, I, I have to, you're really not going to expect it. Really? Okay. When I'm you, I'm just sort of on my back. I'm, they're showing me your back sort of turned. Okay. Walking and this person just coming up behind you, which is telling me that you're not going to see them coming. This is going to be very um, I do feel like this is very brand new. I don't know why, but there is some sort of connection. Okay. Like either a friend knows this person, there's a connection to this person. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and I, <laughs> um, it's, it's funny cause they're making me feel like, like they're going to be super into you. You're going to be like, I mean, I'll give it a, tr- okay. Like we'll go yeah. on a date, you yeah. know? But then it's just sort of organically, you're just like, oh, okay, I'm into this. Per-. You know, I love, I like him. Okay, okay, we're going to, let's go. Okay, yeah. so that's what they're showing me. That's how they're making me feel at least. Yeah. Okay. So let's go. I feel like they're wanting me to also go back to the past. The The thing that they brought in for me was the six of cups, okay, when okay. I was meditating. I mean, I know you have just said, you know, you're reflecting on the past and the six of cups is all about, you know, we're reflecting on the past, past memories are coming up. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Is there somebody that you dated with like an interest? I don't know why, like a name, there's something funny with their name. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Good enough for me. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, I can't like hear it, but there's something there. Okay. Yeah. Hang on. Has this person been caught like kind of in and out? Like, are you still sort of in touch with them? I tried to, but he didn't answer back. Like I tried to just reach out and be like, hey, like how's it going? But he didn't respond. Okay. Was this recent? Uh, we were seeing each other in twenty late 2016. And then for like a year after that, we were like kind of still in touch, but um, okay. it didn't end up like, didn't end up working out. And a lot of it was from my part. Like, I don't think I was actually ready for a relationship as much as I thought right. I was. Yeah. Okay. And what, fair enough. And I mean, it's great that, you know, you realize that about yourself, right? Yeah. Um, but hang on. Okay. Okay. The other thing, hang on, hang on. What is this? What is this? The other thing they're making me feel like is, um, oh God, I wrote that word down. Hang on. Okay. Thank you. They're saying like, don't hide. Okay. It's something that I kind of, I got from the reading is don't hide. You know, I feel like there's, there's this, I don't know if you feel this way. Um, but, um, they're making me feel like, you know, when I'm you, there's this tendency to sort of just reveal bits and pieces, Mm -hmm. um, until like, I'm like, you know, fully comfortable. And then it's sort of similar to how I operate, to be honest, you know, um, I'm really quiet. And then once you get to know me, you can't get me to shut up kind of thing. (laughs) Yeah. But like they're saying, just don't hide, you know, show your true colors. This person is going to love you for you. And that's really important. Love you for you, mm-hmm. they're saying. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I don't know who the heck this grandmother, this great grandma energy you got coming in is super bubbly, super witty, and just really excited for you. Okay. I don't know if she was a big thing on like families, weddings, marriages, and getting together, but she's just so excited for you. I love okay? that. They're also just sort of, because I feel like, are you very similar to your grandmother? Yeah. And so, okay. Cause they're saying you, you got to show your colors. Like you got to really, you know, I mean, I don't think you're a pretty, sh- I don't know if you're a shy guy, but they're like, yeah, just like let people see you. Yeah. Because who you are is so beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, I'm going to see if I can get some more uh, information on this person. The other thing too they're saying is I feel like the past is in the past. Okay. Okay. 
yes, you are, you're moving forward. You're okay. moving forward. Okay. okay. Um, you're, I feel like maybe when you were in school or when you were studying, I feel like maybe that's when I wasn't super looking for a relationship or I wasn't like, like looking for a long-term partner. Okay. Does that make sense to yeah. you? Because right now what I'm feeling with you is like, I'm ready. Yeah. A hundred percent. School's done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They're like, let's go. I'm ready to dive in. Hundred percent, I agree. Um, so, Ryan, I did pull some cards for you. Okay. 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 Um, I pulled, and I'm kind of giggling to myself because I feel like it's it's a little bit appropriate, especially with the last card. Um, but the first card that came up for you is let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So, again, like I said, I feel like you're not going to expect it. They're just going to come in. Okay, and you might not. You might be a little hesitant at first. Okay. <laughs> yeah, K Katie. Katie's giving me a look. Like, let go of your control issues. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then the other one that I pulled is getting to know each other. So, I do feel like you know this is some more affirmation of this is brand new. And then it says, as you reveal your innermost selves, which is really interesting because we were kind of talking about just show you, you know, reveal yourself. It's okay to be seen. Um, as you reveal yourselves to others, uh, each other, your bond deepens. So I'll show you this card. Okay. Um. These are super like traditional, like heteronormative cards. So just <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, a yeah. disclaimer. Okay. <laughs> um, but then I also got the wedding card and the cards that I'm using are oh. uh, the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Uh, okay. Uh, but then I got the wedding card. So the situation involves marriage. So okay. I feel like, um, the, like somebody's coming. Okay. And they mean business and this person is in it to win it. Interesting. Okay. Do you get any, do you, do you feel anything of like, you said, I'm not going to expect it, but do you have any feelings of how we're going to meet? Like you said, there may be a connection, but is it going to be a work setting? Is it going to be randomly? Is it going to be at a bar? Let go of the control, Ryan. <laughs> um, the only thing that I'm seeing, have you been to, you know, Glad Day Bookshop? I've never been, but I've wanted to. Okay. I, I, now, it might not be that store, <laughs> um, but I'm just sort of seeing you in like a coffee shop. Oh, interesting. Okay. okay. And that's, but I feel like this is maybe like a first date or something like it's super like easy. Um, yeah. I don't know if this person is going to maybe live around church or live in that area or they're close to it or, you know, okay. but that's, that's what I'm seeing. Okay. So this is, yeah. uh, it doesn't have to be that specific location, but it could just be a coffee shop. So hang on. Okay. I don't feel like this is work, but I do feel like you're, you have similar like work in a career, your career is kind of aligned, like they're in sync. I don't feel like he's going to be doing the exact, I don't think it's the exact same thing is, but it's something similar. Okay. I don't, so I don't know if you're in like a kind of a broad umbrella uh, and you could do a bunch of different things with this, with whatever you studied, because it kind mm -hmm. of feels like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is like, I meet him. There's like a friend. I know. So I meet at a party. There's some like connection of this. Okay. okay. Like a friend of a friend. Okay. okay. Do you sing? I can sing. I haven't okay. sang in a long time, but yeah, in high school, I but was you've in got a, a, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Great. So that's a nice, another little check mark. Okay. From spirit, just to give you some more confirmation mm -hmm. that there, what I like to say was like, there's a high probability okay, that this will happen. Because I don't like to say it's 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that I, I feel like there's a higher probability. They're showing me a ring with him. This rain? could mean a few different, a ring. Oh, ring. Um, okay. So this could mean a few different, different things. But what I feel like I'm going towards is, uh, yes, I feel like there's commitment with you, but I also am kind of feeling like there might have been, like he was married before, or there was like some sort of previous, like he was engaged. Okay. Um, I'm also feeling darker hair. Um, <laughs> and they're, they're sort of saying when he was younger, he dyed it a lot. Okay. <laughs> and also, I know this is like Ryan's reading, so I don't know what I'm talking I thought about, of you. But my boyfriend was married before. Oh, yeah. okay. Putting that okay. out there. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. Okay. So yeah, maybe, you know, they're piggybacking on each other. Yeah. And he has dark hair, but I just <laughs> did, he, did he change it a lot in high school? Um, Rusted tips? Probably not. Him always being a farmer. Um, okay. 
but yeah, <laughs> definitely mar- been married before. So I didn't want to leave that out. Okay. Yeah. So maybe, you know what this, maybe there's like some sort of a connection also. Okay. Between um, the person that you meet and, and Katie. Okay. Okay. Um, or your spouse and Ryan's partner get, get along, uh, you know, oh. could mean a bunch of different things, but there's, I do feel like there's some, maybe there is marriage with him before, or there was some level of commitment with him. Okay. 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 Thank you. The other thing that I was picking up on, and I don't know if this is with you or with this other person, but I, I got these two specific things and they're very specific. I got Batman <laughs> and then I got, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know oh. if you like those things. Okay. <laughs> um, but, or that's connected with this person. So I don't know. Are you like, do you like comic books? I'm, I'm not, but I'm, maybe this is connected to this person that ties into the whole bookshop thing as well. Yeah. 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 So I'll give, I'm going to give that to you. Okay. Okay. And I just heard somebody say, and if you meet them online, that's okay. Okay. So, so, (laughs) um, leave your options open. Okay. Okay. Be open to all the ways that this person could be coming in for you. There definitely is a connection. Okay. Like you connect on Facebook and you realize, oh, he knows so-and-so that I know, like weird because we're so close. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Okay. 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 Do you have any questions, like more questions pertaining to your love life or any other things that you want to go into? Um, I don't know if you're picking up anything like career wise at all. Uh, Yeah. 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 Okay. Hang on. Are you looking now? Are you looking for work now? Yeah. Okay. I feel like this is your great grandfather, Rob. (laughs) Yeah. Because I, I was he kind of a funny guy. I don't know if you know like anything. About yeah. Him. He's guys, you know, in my day, we just looked in the newspaper for work. <laughs> He's like, feel like okay. That's okay, funny. So, <laughs> say that for a bit. Yeah. Um, but I am feeling like there's uh, there's uh, like you we're looking online as we probably would. Yeah. Um, not newspaper, grandpa. Uh, <laughs> great grandpa. Okay, hang on. Okay, hang on. Now, did you study something and then, then stop and then study another thing? Kind of, yeah. I studied journalism and I did finish and Katie and I were both in the same program. And then I decided to go back to school for public relations. And that's the one that I just finished. Yeah. Great. Okay, perfect. So that's good for me. Okay. Just some confirmation that this is where I am with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Oh man. Okay. Do you like vanilla flavors? (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. Yeah, I do. Okay, so yeah. Some more confirmation. I just heard vanilla. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I, what I like about this is um, I, I find that, you know, spirit will give me like bits and pieces of confirmation, but I think it's more so just confirmation for you, you know, that I'm in your, your energy. Okay. Uh, and that spirit's just around you. Okay. Okay. Well, both of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to leave Katie out. Okay. No. <laughs> Katie, are you becoming more open to this as you see it being done? Yeah, you're still no, nervous. It's, no, it's fascinating. It's because I would, I would love for her to you work and tap in, and I would love for, to see like what what's on the horizon for you, as well. <laughs> we could go into it's a it whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah. Um, Katie's okay. new to this. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. I know it's like. <laughs> Even I'm super aware that like this can be a bit hard to believe sometimes that, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, that's not that, where I'm like, coming from. I a hundred percent believe in it. That's why I okay. freaked out of it. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> but gotcha, you're gotcha. definitely like easing my mind and like, oh yeah, you're great. Everything. Yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, thank you guys. I'm feeling much good different, vibes. It. but it's, a, it's yeah. completely coming from a, I a hundred percent believe in oh. this. That's fair. It's very intimidating to see like a medium. It's like, I know it's a bit weird. <laughs> Um, okay. Hang I love on. it. Sure, I love sure, it. Sure, you're sure. doing great, Aaron. Thank you. Whatever you're going to be wearing, there's suit and tie. Um, I don't know if this is, if wherever you're going to be, you're going to need to wear a suit and tie casual. I don't know, but this is an environment. It feels a little bit conservative. Okay. Now is this downtown Toronto? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cause I'm looking at like big buildings. So I don't know if this is yeah. a big building. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is super specific. Are you close to like a meat place? Is that, would that work be like, a, is there a meat packing place? I'm or? trying to think if there would be one near there. I'm not sure. There could be. Shop. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. I'll just okay. give it to you. You'll have to let me know, but that's yeah, also yeah. what I'm picking up on. Okay. Let me just pull a card. 
And okay. the other cards okay. that I have here, these are the cards that I, I usually use uh, for readings. They're my mother, mother piece tarot deck. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to pull a confirmation card just to sort of see if, you know, will we get this? I feel yeah. like there's a good chance. I feel like they like you. I feel like I feel the same. Yeah. The interview went, cause are you on your second or third interview with yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah. I finished my second interview and it went really well. Okay. Is there another one coming up? There, I don't know yet, but I would, I think so. They're, sh- they're okay. going to shortlist it to two and I'm okay. confident I'll get to the two, but I don't know yet. Okay, because they're making me feel like there's a third step before we yeah. get to the. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay, so oh, I feel like you're gonna get it. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> Is this a leadership role that you're applying for? It's more senior than what I'm used to. Okay, because the card that that flew out was the Seven of Wands, and this is my leadership card. Okay. okay. So in this, you can see she's, you know, she's leading others, right? Okay. The other thing that um, came in, I do feel like you're going to have lots of choices with this. Okay. Okay. Hey, you know, when we go for interviews, you're also sort of interviewing the company. Do I want to work here? Okay. Um, The thing that they're making me aware of right away with these cards that came out of is I pulled the seven of swords. And usually when that comes out is people aren't being super truthful with us or there's, there's something that they're not telling us right away. Okay. I mean, maybe they're not as transparent as you would like these guys to be. Okay. Cause this is the seven of wands. So you can sort of see that's in the card. There's a Fox. He's trying to figure out how to get to the hens. Okay. Like sneak his way in. Okay. And the sevens also indicate choices, right? So that's why I feel like there's some choices with the two sevens that are, that flew out here for you. Okay. But here's the really good thing is that, and I feel like this really speaks to your character and who you are as an individual, because despite maybe people aren't being truthful or there's some sneakiness, okay, going on, best word way I can describe it. The five of swords reversed is just telling me like, you're going to be okay. So if this was upright, I'd be like, oh, I don't know if you want to work here. It feels really chaotic. It feels all over the place. It might be chaotic, but despite this, it's reversed. You're fine. It's like things can just happen around you, right? And you're not going to move. It's like there could be a storm blowing and, and you're staying still. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then the other card uh, that I pulled, the five of swords popped out. So despite all this, right, you're just standing, you're grounded. Okay. Okay. And this is shown with the Four of Swords, that she's got this big protection around her. The Four of Swords is all about sort of taking a break, right? Um, She's aligning her chakras. She's got this pyramid of protection around her, okay? Fours, too, are also all about foundation for me. Um, So I feel like this is a good step for you to where you Mm -hmm. want to be. I don't feel like this is where you're going to be forever and ever, but I feel like this is a good start. Does that make sense to you? Interesting. Okay, because I feel like there's something else after this. Okay, something like good. Okay, I don't know if you could, but would you want to be your own boss? Like, would you want to do your own business or be your own? Because that's how it's feeling to me. Okay, Mm -hmm. Um, is that either you're with this company for so long and then I venture out on my own and I do my own thing. Okay. I also just heard that you guys really have to keep going with the podcast. Okay. Like okay. Keep going. Keep going. I, I do a podcast too. It's a lot of work. Okay. Yeah. Editing is like a nightmare and I hate it, but keep <laughs> going. Keep going. Okay. Okay. You hear that, Katie? Yes, I heard that, Ryan. <laughs> I guess the final question would just be like, just to jump back to love um, before, because uh, I yeah. want to be mindful of your time too. But if there's anything else that you see as far as like my love life and even like a mm. name, um, I yeah. think that would be really cool. And, um, yeah, what you what you kind of are seeing in the in the near future. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can get a name. Or if you have any questions, Katie, to jump on to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it's, you know whatever you guys want. I'm super open. Okay, I'm getting the letter J with him, but I'm not feeling like this is his first name. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm actually I never well sometimes I do, but this this is feeling like kind of a middle name. Okay. okay. Maybe he goes by a different name or he's got a middle name. I, I also feel like he's named after somebody in the family. Okay. Yeah. I feel like there's a family connection with his name. <laughs> somebody just said like, don't worry. Like he's not going to be super skinny. Like he's going to have some muscle to him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Katie um, just did the sweat off her head <laughs> emoji. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of feeling Capricorn. Oh, with okay. their sign. 
okay? Earthy, okay? Yeah, because I'm an Aries. Interesting, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you've got this passion, you've got this fire, and maybe we need someone that's going to just ground us a little bit 100% more. I do, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, so I've got, I've got this. It might not, there might not be, a, maybe they have Capricorn in the chart, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, but there's, there's definitely Earth, okay? Okay. Um, and this is someone new, not from my past. I don't feel like it. Okay. Uh, I'm also hearing cooking. Oh, that's some, I don't know why. Is that important to you? They, they know how to cook a good meal. Well, yeah. That's important because Ryan doesn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so true. Katie and I Ryan were talking about this. Ryan order pizza really, really well. Really well. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. That's so funny. Okay. So I like that there's just, it's like these little words that pop into my head, right? Okay. Yeah. So just like yeah. I love that. Um, so that's, that's funny. They're, I think they're also being funny and playful with you. Cause I feel like that's how you are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this person's going to be sarcastic and dry with their humor. Okay. But I kind of feel like you like that. Yeah. Like definitely someone that's witty. Yeah. Okay. I like, I, I don't know if they're, they're going to make a lot of dad jokes, but there's something like <laughs> <laughs> that's the dry humor. Okay. That's kind yeah. of, because what they're doing is they're showing me my father, okay? And my dad's okay. got dry humor and he's a dad, dad right? Okay, yeah, so yeah, dad yeah. has dry humor. Okay, um, I'm going to give that to you. Okay. Do you not like to share? Uh, maybe not. I don't know, when you were, when you were a kid, were you kind of like, <laughs> was that a tough lesson? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably, I just yeah. heard someone say, and uh, share. Don't forget okay. to share, okay? So, yeah, I, I don't really know where to place that with when it comes to relationships. Yeah, but sh share. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, any any other? I don't know if that answered your question. I know I kind of go all over the place, but yeah, I think it did. Katie, did you have any further questions, even about my reading or about you? I have a question. When you say I'm going to give that to you, is that something that like you feel confident? Um, enough with like kind of what's come through to you that you want to give that to the person so they take it with them and like remember yeah. it and yeah, then the yeah. ones that you're maybe like more uncertain about or weren't so clear you're not necessarily giving it to ryan to move forward with yeah so what it what i like to do is i never like to not give what i'm whatever i'm getting because um I've had a lot of people come back to me and say, you know, it didn't really make sense. It didn't resonate in the moment, but I listened to it and this makes perfect sense. Or what you said is so alignment in like four months from now. Um, mm. So I just give it to you anyways. Um, I've I had um, my, uh, my mentor, who's also a medium, who also um, was my mom's my mom went to see her. Yeah. Um, she became a good friend of the family, but she had a story where she, um, you know, was giving a reading and she was getting all these names. And, and at the end of it, the woman said to her, well, that was dumb. I really wanted con to connect with John. And Maureen kept getting this name, John, towards the end of it. But she was like, I'm not giving, are you kidding me? Like, she's not getting any of these names that are coming through. Forget it. But finally, you know what I mean? So I, I like to take that in, what she said, and just give it no matter what. Because even if it doesn't resonate in the moment, it might resonate later on. Gotcha. That makes yeah. sense. So you were saying before you do a reading, you meditate, um, which makes perfect sense. How do you then turn it off? Mm. Um, I, what I like to say at the beginning of every reading, as I said, you don't have an intention. Um, I also have different things that I say. So one of those things that I say is like, I'm going to open the portal. And when the reading is done, the portal and all those energies are going through that portal and it's closing. Yeah. And you, is that something you've had to practice along the years to kind of really be able to do or it comes naturally? Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah, because uh, when I first started doing this, I was like, yeah, whatever comes, comes, you know, open it up. But you have to also just like people, you have to set boundaries with spirit. Um, you, you know, yeah. so I, I like to sort of make it really clear, especially if it was a heavy reading, I don't want to carry that energy onto me. And so I like to, at least even for me, visuals work. So visualizing, uh, that door closing. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. 
I mean, I would like love to do a little mini reading, but that was not like planned for today. So maybe, you know, it's like sometime down the line we can, cause you know, I know that you're a busy woman. Um, but yeah, no, you <laughs> definitely just like opened my mind to like, it doesn't have to necessarily be like a scary thing. Cause I've also like always been worried, you know, I wouldn't want to hear that. Like I'm in the wrong relationship or like something's going to happen to my family or, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. like you're in the wrong career or something. Um, because I've always felt like if that those are the situations I want them to happen organically and not because I've like gotten to my own head and almost like caused that. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of why I asked you in the beginning, uh, if you feel like there's maybe some like really negative things, like do, how do you approach it? Cause I, I'm a bit of an overthinker. So like, if I were to hear something like, let's say about a career, I would just like immediately start to panic about like what I'm mm-hmm. doing with my life or whatever. So, yeah. but just watching like your reading and your approach and, you know, like you said, you get, t- you tend to get more positive um, things coming through the negative. Cause that's maybe like spirits approach. I definitely feel like way more relaxed about the whole thing. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad. Thank you so much. That means yeah. a lot very cool watching like your mind work and your approach to it so yeah um i'd love to do that one day with you i think that'd be very cool yeah we'd yeah, love to have you back on oh uh, thank you guys i'd love to be back thank you aaron for joining us and it, you were you were amazing i think that katie um you know hit the nail on the head uh, i have friends that feel the same way about it and i think like when if they listen to this podcast and they hear they hear you and how non-judgmental you are and how open you are. Thank you so much. This was this was awesome. This was a lot of fun. Um, I really so appreciate fun. it. Um, and if folks are interested, you can find me at Soulwork. That's Soul W R K on Instagram, um, or you can go to my website, which is emsoulwork.com. Fantastic. And on your website, we'll be able to find like your prices and everything because I have someone in mind that I'm going to be messaging. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You can find all that information there. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you're you. welcome, guys. This is a ton of fun. Thanks yeah, again. Yeah, hopefully we'll be in touch soon and um, stay happy and healthy in this quarantine. Thank you. Yes, you too. Yeah. <laughs> stay safe. Of course, if our listeners want to follow us, they can follow us at Is This Adulthood on Instagram and ITA underscore podcast on Twitter. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>